What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the new supply effects kit for Magic Square Meteorite, their version of Skyfire. So this review is brought to you by New Supply of course who sent these for a review as well as Matt Partsformer who actually provided this figure. Now I had actually sold mine. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this one compared to the New Age so I, I stuck with New Age. But because I didn't have it, I couldn't send it to New Supply for fitment. So he sent it to him. So these accessories I'm going to show and this figure are going back to Matt. So thank you, Matt. So let's take a look at what we get. So first of all, you get some accessories for his arms. So you can open up these here. There's a couple things you can put in here. You can use these arm cannons. Very similar to what we got with the New Age, but... Close it down like that, and you can get these. And if you want, you can rotate them so you have it like this or whatever. I think it looks best rotated down like this, but you can kind of display it however you like. And of course, you can do both of them if you want. And it's just friction fit, but pretty cool look there. You also get the axe here now this really the only time i've ever seen him with this kind of axe is in the earthrise cartoon he actually had these he had double but that looks really cool i like how that looks you can kind of pose him with it any way you want and if you want kind of an action style axe they give you this which has a little sweeping effect there so you can take this one, and you can actually double wield it if you want to. Have one that's not in action, one that is in action. And you can be chopping. Or whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, you also get some things for his gun. So we'll just leave that one there. So if we get his gun and we put that into his hand, you get some effects for this. So you do get these. Last effect, which is actually kind of cool. It's different than what we got with the New Age. But that looks really nice. You can be blasting some Decepticons. And of course, wouldn't be New Supply without smoke. <laughs> Gotta have smoke. There you go. Alright, and one other thing you get with this set is the blast effects for the boosters here. Now, New Supply mentioned these were very difficult to design. And I'm noticing he's got a very, you know, pretty flat surface here with the peg on top. And I guess it was just getting the shape, the dimensions of that inner, um, you know, booster was pretty tough. But you can just fit those into there. And due to the way it's made, you can use it in either jet mode or in robot mode. And he can be flying off into space or whatever um, it does help if you lift this backpack up a little bit because then you can get his head up like that but just do the way it's sculpted it's a little difficult to get it posed perfectly the new age one the head did actually lift up but there you go you can have him on a flight stand kind of flying off or in jet mode of course with those accessories so final recommendations on the new supply effects for Magic Square Meteorite. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5, and I rarely do that, but I think in this case it really is deserved. And let me tell you why. This figure is a little bit boring out of box, uh, and, and to be honest, the New Age one also, because it only comes with the gun. It doesn't really come with anything else, and it just makes the display factor a little bit limited. With this set, you get the gun with the blast effect or the smoke effect. You get two of these arm cannons. You get two of these sword effects here. Uh, and then in jet mode or in robot flight mode, you can use these blast effects here on his jetpack. That totally changes the dynamic of the display for this guy. So that's why I give it a 5 of 5. Everything really works. All the effects fit perfectly. The fitment is really well done. And, you know, despite the challenges he mentioned that he had with these, they work perfectly. 
So that's it for today. Thanks to New Supply for sending this out, and thanks to Matt Parsformer for letting me borrow his figure here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.